Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see what is the stuff function in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will see how can we use the stuff function in SQL Server. So in SQL Server the stuff function is used to replace a specified portion of a string with another substring. So the syntax of the stuff function is as follows that in the beginning you need to write the stuff function then you need to provide the string expression like in which string you want to replace something here there can be some column as well and then you need to provide the starting position like from which position you want to start replacing some string and then you need to provide the length as well like how many characters you want to remove from the string if you do not want to remove any characters and if you put zero here then it will append the another string and then in the end you need to replace the expression like from which string you want to replace the original string. So let's see this with some examples. So let's jump to the demo. I got the SQL Server instance here. Okay. And uh, let me show you like how the stuff function works. So it is used to replace a string with another string, some portion of the string. Okay. Like so how this can work. Uh, suppose if I write here select and I can write stuff function. Okay. And now I got a string okay so suppose there is a string like this is a C sharp learning class okay suppose this is the original string okay now if you want to replace something in this particular string suppose you want to replace the C sharp uh, with SSIS okay so how you can do that you need to put a comma and then you need to uh, write the position of the C sharp here okay so the position will start from 1 like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 11 so 11 is the position so you need to put the value 11 here now if you want to replace for example c sharp here so uh, you need to put 2 here so that's why it can delete the two characters from the string and then uh, you need to provide the new string so for example i want to put ssis here so now c sharp will be replaced with the ssis okay so for example if i close this one and if i execute the query so it will be this is a ssis learning class okay so here you need to provide the position like which string you want to replace and then you need to provide the number of characters to replace okay uh, let's take an, another example suppose if i write select uh, stuff and if i write uh, i am a uh, developer okay so this is the string for example now suppose i want to uh, replace the developer or i just want to append a new word here for example i want to append senior here like i'm a senior developer so i'm just actually merging something into the existing string so here you need to uh, find the position of the developer so we can start you know uh, counting the position from the one like one two three four five six seven eight so at the eighth position okay we want to append something for example if you do not want to replace anything you just want to append a senior here so you need to put the value zero here zero means that you do not want to delete anything from the string okay and then after the comma you can provide your new string so i can put senior here senior comma okay and then i can close this one so if you execute this particular query now so this will append a senior here senior substring has been added into the existing string okay so this is how you know it works that you can just merge your own string into an existing string okay suppose in your final string you want that i am a senior qa so what you can do here uh, instead of only senior you can put senior qa okay and then we will delete this developer so you can just count the characters here two four six 8 9 so we just want to delete the 9 character so you can replace the value 0 with the 9 here and then uh, this developer this will be deleted from the 8th position till 9 characters and a new value senior q it will be appended here okay so now we can execute this query so you can see that like i'm a senior qa so we can just uh, play with the strings sometimes it's very useful so we will see like what are the different use cases of using the stuff function okay so now let's see some real life example with the stuff function so here it will drop the person table if person table exists then we'll create the person table 
and then it will insert some 10 records into the person table okay so if i select these queries so the person table is recreated and now it contains the person name phone number ssn and the date of birth okay so here if you see the format of the a phone number is this one and the value of the SSN is this one and this is the value of the date of birth. Now, so now suppose I want to do some formatting of this particular data and sometimes it happens with some project that we uh, we got the data in a specific format like in format A and then we actually want the data in format B. So we need to write either some uh, SQL scripts to convert the data or we can use like C sharp as well or SSIS okay. So here we will see like how we can do that using the SQL Server queries. So here now we got three requirements that change the format of the phone number to this format. So sometimes you have seen this format as well that uh, uh, we need to put this bracket then three digit from the phone number the first three digit then end this bracket and then we need another three digit from the phone number and then put a hyphen and after the hyphen we need to use the last four digit from the phone number so like how you will convert this particular phone number into this particular format okay so we'll use the stuff function for that particular thing same way uh, you got the person's ssn numbers here okay but because the ssn numbers are very private and very secure so that's why so when you want to select the data then we want to mask all the ssn numbers and we just want to display the last four digit from the ssn number you might have seen this like the ssn number or the credit card number they might have masked or even the account numbers might have masked and only the last few digits are visible so we will just display the last four digits and uh, instead of the first digits we will show like xxx hyphen xx hyphen like this okay so we will uh, do this in a select query as well okay and then here the, there is a date of birth so the date of birth is in the yyyy mmdd so we want to convert this to into the yyyy hyphen mm hyphen dd okay so this format we want to convert so we will see like how we can convert this and how we can do this using the stuff function in sql server we will use only the stuff function and then this can be done and there are some other functions like substring function those we can also use sometimes okay but here we will see the, like the what are the capabilities of the stuff function to do this okay so we can write the query here select star from person okay so the first requirement is to change the format of phone number to this particular format okay so we will write the code here uh, we will uh, use the first stuff function and in the beginning we need to provide the column name and our column name is the phone number okay now we need to add a starting bracket here okay this will be added at the very beginning of the phone number so this will start at the position number one so we'll write one here okay and because we do not want to replace anything so we will put zero here okay and what we want to append we want to append the uh, starting bracket okay so we can do like this okay now we can close the function and we will call this new column as phone num okay so if i execute this query so uh, before the phone number the left bracket has been added okay so this is the starting thing that we are doing here now what we need to do that after the three digit we need to you know close this particular uh, bracket okay so we can use another stuff function here stuff okay and then uh, we can put a comma here so now this is our uh, actual expression or you can say column so we, we want to you know append something in this particular value so now we need to write the starting position so if you count the values like 1 2 3 4 5 so we need to put the closing bracket at position number 5 and we do not want to replace anything so we just want to put the end bracket okay uh, and then we can close the stuff function so this is how you know it can add another ending bracket here okay now we will be using the three digits so the three digits are fine but after the three digit we need to put a hyphen here okay so we'll use another stuff function okay and this will be used the this will be the first portion of the code now we need to put a hyphen at the position number one two three four five six seven eight nine at nine position we need to put the hyphen and we do not want to replace anything and we can just put the hyphen in the single quote and close the stuff function so now if you execute this query then this is what like how we wanted the 
uh, phone number look like and this is in the exact format okay so this was about like uh, doing the first thing now our second column will be that mask the ssn and keep only last four digit of ssn so we can use the stuff function again okay and the first thing in the stuff function it will go the ssn column okay and now we want to start masking the uh, ssn from the position number one from the first character we want to do that so we can write one and then we actually want to replace the values in now so we want to replace the values until four five like one two three four five six so we want to replace six values and the new string that we want to display is the x x x hyphen x x okay so this is the new value that we want to append into the existing string and then i can close this one and if i call this particular column as ssn uh, masked so we can see like how the data will look like here okay so i can execute this one so now you can see that uh, it has masked the uh, ssn values and only the last four ssn values are visible so this is what we wanted actually so this is good now the third one is change the format of the date of birth to yyyymmdd so after the uh, four character from the fifth character we need to put a hyphen here okay so we will use the stuff function okay and then the column name is date of birth so i can write date of birth here okay and we want to uh, put the the hyphen at the fifth position and we do not want to replace any character so that's why you will put zero here now i want to put the uh, hyphen sign here okay and we'll call for example we'll call this particular column as dob so if i execute this one so this will put the uh, first hyphen after the year now we need to put the another hyphen after the month as well so we will use another stuff function okay and this will be the first expression now we need to put the another uh, hyphen sign at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it's eighth position so we will put 8 here and then we do not want to replace anything and we just want to put the hyphen sign here okay and now i can execute this particular query so now you can see that that the dob is converted into the exact format in which we wanted like into the yyyy mmdd format and all three columns like phone number ssn and dob they are now in the respected format so we did this only using the stuff function okay yeah so the stuff function can be really helpful if you are doing some data manipulation some string manipulation and data formatting then the stuff function can be really helpful yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video Thank you so much.